good evening, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Race Space Spotlight. Today, we're going to travel up to Georgia, coming Georgia to be exact, where we find 12-year-old quarter midget driver and soon-to-be pro truck driver, Carter Whalen. How are you doing tonight, Carter? Good. So, so I, I got to ask right off the bat, what's that setting behind you? This is the pro truck sitting behind me. Really excited to get it out this year. Yeah. So do you have any, do you have a, a time schedule on when that's going to happen or? Very soon in February, we hope. So you got it in your garage. Maybe you just take it out and take a couple laps around the neighborhood. Yeah, we have. You, oh, you have. Okay. what the neighbors think about that? They liked it a lot. <laughs> they liked it a lot. That's cool. That's cool. So I was going to say you could drive that thing to school. That would make you like the most popular kid at school, but you're doing homeschool this year. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So tell us a little bit about how do you like the homeschooling side of it? I like it. It's, it's much better than being at school. You have much more off time and you can like hang out in the shop a lot more. Hang out in the shop. And so you've got a busy race schedule coming up. Um, I think your first race is there in, in, in your local track, and that's when? January 29th. January the 29th. So before we get into the rest of your schedule for uh, 2022, let's talk a little bit about 2021. What would you have, what would you say was your 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 biggest highlight of 2021? We won three championships last year and got and I got my first two national podiums. All right. So let's talk about the championships. Can you share with the uh, with the viewers what those championships were? Our first championship came during the winter series in January and February. We won heavy Honda and heavy 160. And then our third championship was the regular season locally, and we won heavy Honda. All right. So and you talked about that you you got your first podiums at national events. And, and where were those races at? Our first podium was a third place in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the first national event of the year. And what class was that in? Heavy Honda. Heavy Honda. Okay. And your second one? Was also in Heavy Honda in Toledo, in Toledo, Ohio. That was our second national event. All right. So those were USAC events for, for people that are maybe not so familiar with, with quarter midget racing. But um, so you've got some big plans this year. Uh, you're getting ready to take, I, I guess, about as long a haul as you can make to pull a quarter midget from coming Georgia all the way out to Fontana, California. That is I think we would talked a little bit before we started recording here that that's a 30 hour trip. So the question is, are you going to be in the hauler or are you going to be like a, a, a famous driver and you get flown out and not have to ride in the hauler? Which one, which direction are you going? I'd like to drive, but it's just too long. So I'm flying. You're flying out. I'll tell you what, it sounds like, Fun, 30 hours, but I, I got a feeling about 15 hours into that thing, you'd be like, I'm, I am wish I was on a plane, but you're going to be on a plane. So that's all going to work out. So how excited are you going out there? I'm really excited. It's going to be experience. It's going to be my first time out in the West Coast that far. And you're on a NASCAR Cup weekend, I believe. Yes, sir. Okay. So um, tell us a little bit about the classes that you're going to be running in 2022? So we've got two new classes. We have Heavy Honda, Heavy 160, Heavy World, Unrestricted Animal, and Mod World Fame. Okay, so you're going to be running four classes? Five. Five, wow. You know, who, you know who's going to like you the most? Who's your... Definitely. You're right. Great answer. The Hoosier Tire guy is really going to love you. So for, for people that don't know, you think quarter midgets, let me tell you what, it's an expensive way to race because these guys put new tires on just about every single race that they run. It and, is a good uh, race, actually. 
<clears throat> so that's, you know, five classes times, you know, how many ever races that they'll run in each one of those classes. Yeah, that the Hoosier Tire Guy will be your best buddy. So let me ask you a question. What other national events do you have scheduled for 2022? We have Fontana, as we already talked about. We have Darlington and Indianapolis. Darlington. Is that, yep. is that um, in conjunction with the NASCAR weekend as well? I don't believe so. <clears throat> That'd be kind of cool to find that, find that out because Darlington's always known. I mean, that's one of my favorite racetracks. Um, and that's always uh, tied with the throwback scheme. So it'd be cool to do like a, could you do a throwback paint scheme on your quarter midget? Yeah, that'd be really cool. That would be cool. So tell us a little bit about, um, I see a lot of posting that's going on and you're talking about the ultimate quarter midget. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's our new chassis that Ultimate QM just came out with. It's like more leaned over a little. So tell us what that actually means when you're, when you're saying it's leaned over just a little bit. Instead of the chassis, the roll cage, being straight up, it's more lean to the left a little. And that I helps guess, you. And that helps you how? To, I, to get it turned through the corner. It to drives get it turned to turn through the quarter. And I know you guys were testing that a lot last year. So how how are you feeling about that new chassis? I love them. They drive amazingly. They'll go anywhere you want them to go. Awesome. And that's and you're and uh, is that stuff that it's being built at uh, Landon Cox Racing? No, those are being built by Ultimate QM. By Ultimate QM. Okay. But but you're still going to be racing for Danny Cox Racing next year, Landon Cox Racing. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So how many cars total between the two of you are you going to be pulling to Fontana? Eight. Eight cars. Wow. That's a, that, that's a, that's pretty cool. So let's talk a little bit about what's been going on on the off season. Um, I know that you got to be getting excited. Have you been working on the pro truck and kind of learning your way around that? Oh yeah. It's amazing. It's definitely different for sure a lot bigger than the, the quarter midgets and excited to get in it. Well, the big thing is you're not going to be sitting in the center of that truck. Yeah. So you got all this, you got all this room now to your, to your right that you're going to have to learn, but, but that, that's going to be good. I think that the path that you're taking is to kind of slowly roll into that, to that pro truck, get a lot of practicing in. And I think that's going to be good. Uh, do you have any tracks picked out where you think you might be taking the pro truck to do some practice? We're definitely going to be running in Cordillo, Georgia this year. Okay, down at okay, that that's cool. Um, you didn't want to go down and run at Speed Fest? We we may. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, but get get some practicing in before you go tackle that animal. So let's let's also look at. I'm looking at your. Your schedule, you're going to be competing in the Dixie shootout again. Yes, sir. Um, so what do, you, what do you like about the Dixie shootout series? I like it because it's the people that we race nationally. So it's all those heavy hitters, but it's low. It's more the like the local tracks. So you instead of running on parking lots, you get to race on actual track. Yes, that's that is that is so cool. So, you know, when you said the word heavy hitters, you know that those other drivers out there consider you a heavy hitter. How does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel humble. Well, I, you know, you have to earn that. And I think you've done a good job doing that. So um, we've got a little game that we play now. It's called Rapid Fire. And this is something that you have no idea what I'm going to ask you. So you got to be fast on your feet. So you ready to play? Yes. Okay. What's your favorite video game? I racing. Okay. What's your favorite food? Burgers, probably. Burgers. Okay. That's a good, that's a good answer. Okay. What's your favorite track that you like to race at? Metro Atlanta quarter midget association. Metro Atlanta. Okay. And which one of all the different cars that you race, 
which one is your favorite class to compete in? Mod, Mod World Formula. And, and why is that? It's just way faster and way more aggressive, I guess. Okay, so for people that are not familiar with quarter midget racing, tell them what's different about a Mod World Formula. A Mod World Formula runs on methanol race fuel. So it's faster in general. It's got like a more powerful motor and it's a world formula. So it's got a world motor in it, but the motors are more modified. Awesome. It's just and so let me ask you, when you say it's faster, how many mile an hour faster do you think that car is than say a heavy Honda? 10, probably. You know what? 10 miles an hour may not sound like a lot, but 10 miles an hour when you're like this far off the ground and, and constantly turning, because you're constantly turning in those cars, aren't you? I mean, that's you're, you're I, I see you guys, you know, you're hanging out the side of the car and doing everything that you can um, to get that thing to turn. So um, that's, uh, that's a big difference. I think when you start talking about 10 miles an hour faster, you know, getting, not just getting the car set up, but, but driving it as well. Yeah, it's definitely fast for sure. All right. So um, anything else that's going on in Carter's life that uh, you'd like to share with us? We're definitely in need of sponsors. That's for sure. Okay. So there you got it. Listen to this. I want you to listen to this young man. You know, he just, he just did a great interview. If you're a sponsor out there and you're looking for somebody to, to tag on to, you can, you can get, you can get a tr bonus here, five different types of quarter midget cars, plus a logo to look real good on the hood, on the hood of that pro truck setting right behind you. For sure. Plus his uniform, his website, all those different things. If you guys are not tuned into Carter Whalen, you need to go to CarterWhalenRacing.com. Follow him on all of his social media platforms. And Carter, would you like to give a shout out to any sponsors that you currently have? The Cots family, Mark Tuggle RV, A1 Auto Cores, Conquest Strategic Marketing, and Ultimate QM. All right. Well, Carter, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Again, make sure to go to Carter's Fan Zone, sign up for his digital newsletter. You can check him out there. He does a, he does a monthly uh, Driving Five podcast with Tom Baker that you can check out. And then, uh, you know, look forward because, you know, in, to, in 2022, um, our Race Face Driver Update Show, which is a weekly update that we do with all the Race Face Drivers, and Carter's a part of that program, is actually going to be on a TV channel on Racing America's platform for 2022. And we're super excited about that. Carter, you're actually the first driver that I've talked to about that. I had the meeting with Racing America last night. They are so excited because again, Racing America is actually owned by Race Team Alliance and Race Team Alliance is the 16 top cup teams. So a lot of eyeballs gonna be on you. We wanna wish you luck. We're gonna be checking back in with Carter probably Probably in about June, we'll bring him back on for another spotlight uh, interview to see where he's at and kind of keep you guys up to speed. But again, check him out on all of his social media platforms. You can see those listed right here um, below us on that. And again, Carter, good luck. And I know you're going to have a super time heading out to California. So Carter, anything else you'd like to say to the, to the fans before we wrap up? I believe that's it. Definitely going to have a fun year this year. A lot of races and a lot of new journeys. And if you're a Carter Whalen fan, go to his fan zone and check out his new mall. He has his own speed zone mall, over 2,500 stores in that thing. So go there. It's free. It's what he wants to give to his fans. So with that, we're going to say goodbye. Carter, again, thanks for being with us. And everybody out there, make sure to check back with us in two weeks for our next Race Face Spotlight show. Everybody have a great race weekend. Good night.